Spectrum Technologies, your field measurement resource, presents How to Install the Water Scout SM100 Soil Moisture Sensor. The Water Scout SM100 Soil Moisture Sensor allows you to accurately monitor moisture content in your turf or production agriculture application. The small compact design of the sensor makes installation quick and easy. It is important that there is good contact between the sensor and the surrounding soil. This video will demonstrate installation procedures for some different applications. If the sensor is being installed near the surface so that the molding and cable will remain above the soil surface, the sensor may be pushed directly into the soil. However, because the sensor board is flexible, care should be taken to avoid snapping it during installation. If the soil is very hard, a small slit can be dug into the soil with a knife or shovel to facilitate easier insertion. Pushing that same implement into the ground surrounding the sensor will improve the contact between soil and sensor. In most applications, the sensor is installed further down in the soil profile. Depending on the depth, this can be accomplished in different ways. If the sensor is being installed at a shallow depth, it is easiest to dig a small hole or trench to this depth and proceed as with the near surface installation. For deeper installations, we recommend using an insertion tool. There's a small lip on either side of the molding. This allows the sensor to be installed with a pipe or tube. A slot may also be cut into the PVC pipe. Some options for the pipe are half-inch class 315 PVC, half-inch electrical conduit, or half-inch schedule 40 PVC. Because the sensor will be installed blindly into the hole, the pipe should be cut down and marked so it is easy to tell that the sensor has been fully inserted in the soil and not simply been stopped by a stone or some other object. On the end of the pipe, make a mark that is equal to the depth the sensor is to be installed. The tip of the sensor will extend about 4 inches from the tip of the pipe. Make a second mark 4 inches farther down from the first mark. Feed the cable through the pipe. Slide the sensor into one end, make sure it's oriented straight, then pull the cable taut so the sensor fits snugly in the pipe. You'll need to dig an axis hole to the desired depth. This can be done with a soil sampler, auger, or slide hammer. Make the same depth marks from the PVC pipe. If possible, it is recommended that the hole be at a slight angle. This will reduce the effect of water channeling down to the sensor via the sensor cable. In general, it is not recommended to push the sensor directly into undisturbed native soil, especially in dry soil or soil with lots of gravel or stones. Instead, return some crumpled native soil from the bottom of the axis hole and tamp in sufficiently. You may need to use the PVC or a dowel rod. Use the insertion tool and push the SM100 into the packed soil. Your marks on the insertion tool will let you know when the sensor tip has reached the bottom of the hole and when the entire sensor is fully inserted. Withdraw the tube from the soil. If the fit between the sensor molding and the insertion tool was snug, you may need a dowel rod to make sure the sensor stays in place while removing the insertion tool. The axis hole should then be carefully backfilled with native soil and tamped down to eliminate any air pockets. For more permanent insulation, the PVC pipe can remain in the soil with the sensor attached. This also protects from bugs, pests, and helps locating the sensors. The Water Scout SM100 sensors can also be installed horizontally. The preferred technique is to dig a small hole or trench in the soil that allows the sensor to be installed. The sensors are pushed directly into the exposed face of undisturbed soil in a similar fashion as the near surface installation. To limit the effect of water moving vertically through the soil profile, the sensor should be installed so that the flat face is perpendicular to the soil surface. For the same reason, if sensors are installed at multiple depths, they should be offset from one another. For more information about the Water Scout SM100 or Spectrum Technologies, please visit us at specmeters.com.